station and attacked by someone pretending to be a candidate. One of my officers was assaulted actually at our Benkevejo registration office, which is responsible for Kaya West. Um, the officer informed me that um, while she was working at the office, because as you all will know, we're in, in election period, and I will say all election and boundaries offices countrywide, all staff are working beyond normal working hours. That is what is required of us anytime an election is being called. As persons know, we have to make the election machine work. That is our job. We're not open to the public at that point. Um, we work normal working hours in terms of attending to the public. But again, I will say all my officers are required to work beyond the normal working hours. So um, if officers get two to three hours sleep per night, they get a lot at this point in time. So yes, officers are there. And I will say that they, I'll continue to say that the officer informed me that um, she heard a knock on the door because the door was closed, the gate was closed. Um, the person opened the gates, went into the compound, knocked on the door, and uh, because at this point in time we know what is happening, we have police officers at our offices and also patrolling in many areas. In this case, a police officer was with my officer responsible for the Bank of Aho registration office. And um, she thought that when she heard the knock, she mentioned to me that she thought that it was the police officer patrolling because even though you have an officer stationed there, they still patrol the area just to check on, the, on them. And um, it was at that point when she was confronted by someone from one of the political offices stating that um, she is a candidate and she wants to know what the officer is doing at that office. My officer explained to me that she told the person that she was there working. They're not open to the public. And I will tell you, if we were open to the public, then nobody would have had to even knock on any door. It was through a burglar bar door that she spoke to the person. She was aware that she was being recorded. At that point in time, the officer was actually um, embarrassed or wondering, why am I being questioned? The fe that female officer, we're told, has recorded a statement with Benke Viejo Police. Meanwhile,